Hello everyone, this is Dikpal Singh Bhalla and today we'll be discussing something about PHP. We'll be discussing the introduction of object orientation in PHP, how to easily move from MySQL to MySQLi and the difference between MySQL and MySQLi. But before to start with, let's discuss about something called PHP. The PHP, the full form earlier was personal home pages in 1995 when it was being launched right now the full form of PHP is hypertext preprocessor which is actually a backronym a recursive backronym let's talk about the object orientation PHP earlier was not totally object oriented it can be compared to C++ as uh, the first compiler of PHP was also written in C. Many features of C, C++ are being taken into PHP and earlier in 1995 after it's being launched with development it was partially object oriented. But now with the introduction of MySQLi and some other functions it has totally become object oriented if you are friendly with what is called mysql and php now this video will definitely help you to easily move from mysql to mysqli let's start i have easily done some homework on it um, this is a regular syntax a host name uh, since i'm running on my local machine so it's a local host the database name is test for tutorial basis the username is root and I'm using XAM so I'm not using any password in it so it's it's a blank uh, let's uh, let me tell you the whole scheme now I have these two buttons uh, hit it hit it one is having uh, a hidden text which has a value of one two three and the other one is four five six let's refresh it I tested it for some purposes and now it's blank reason is why we are doing this we are actually comparing both the techniques and I'm telling you how it works let's get back to the code this is the regular code uh, first we'll go to the HTML part I've taken two form tags I've taken hash so that the page refers to itself in both cases the method name would be post and as I uh, told you in, in, in the web browser there are two buttons hit it hit it to avoid uh, confusion, let's name one to be hit me. Okay, I'll just save it. Let's hit. Uh, let's name one to be hit me. Let's refresh the page and see if it has worked. Yes, it has worked. Fine. So now hit me is having a code as one two three, a hidden text value, and hit it is having four five six. Got, uh, let's get to the PHP code the PHP code uh, is here comparing the value to be 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 post is actually a server side uh, uh, we can say an array this actually refers to the value which comes from the form tag PHP is totally about arrays if somebody uh, doesn't know about arrays or is, has does not have any master in arrays he or she actually can't survive in it so doll underscore post is actually a server method a sort of server method or a sort of predefined array which returns the value whichever comes from the form tag if the method there is post if the method there is get then we just simply have to write over here get but it is not so right so we are using two approaches over here one is the MySQL, conventional MySQL approach of PHP and the other one is new object oriented PS, uh, MySQL I of PHP. Right. Now if you get to the MySQL part, the simple conventional uh, conventional method, procedure, MySQL connect, host, username, password. I have selected database from the database name over here. 
the row is uh, from the query I've written select here it is one two three as message from uh, dual it is actually a dual is basically a temporary table which is uh, which when queried into the database it just refers to the value which is being sent or any calculation which is being done in the query so uh, therefore I've written over here just here it is one two three as message then uh, I've called the query and uh, I've echoed the message a similar thing just a similar code is written using mysqli now since it is an object oriented part so here it is mysqli object mysqli connect will return an object of a connection and this object is taken in with the mysqli the beauty of php is that you don't have to uh, define the data type it, it, it you can just simply uh, use the variable writing it you don't have to declare it you don't have to uh, defined data type it, it it takes it takes it as it is though uh, we should define it there is a provision defining data types in php but uh, for a regular basis um, many of us don't actually use that approach then we have the query the similar query is written just i've uh, changed the number 456 to avoid confusion and uh, Again, the res is actually an object which is uh, being returned by with the MySQLi query. What happens is that when this query is being fired using this uh, function, MySQLi query function, it uh, gives back a table. It may be containing only one row or so it's just a single value, but still it, it will be considered as an entity, as an entity set. And when we use it in mysql fetch a sock or mysql i fetch a sock it actually converts it into an array formation with the indexing of the column name so when i am writing over here as message now this message is being is the column name which is being referred over here fine now let's run it let's see if it works or not i just refresh the page once i'll say hit me so here it is one two three and then I say hit me and here it is 456 so both the approaches are working right but what's the difference uh, it's okay that's object oriented but can we prove it or not let's try to figure it out over here I have commented echo dot var1 similar to uh, what mysql I was using an object is being written I tried to use the same concept over here and uh, just a second spaces and I try to gather what will be the value which is being returned if I use this in front of my sphere connect and uh, let's try to run it let's say hit me so here it's coming it's saying resource ID hash 3 it's not returning any object right which means it is not that safe security point of view it is not that safe the reason is the conventional reasons coming from the object oriented approach which we are actually studying in many languages the same concept is over here Th this is returning a resource id right a regular parameter but uh, if i do one thing if i try to echo my mysql i variable I just refresh it once though it's not needed because it will again uh, interpret the code again and again let's see now here comes the error fatal error object of class mysql i could not be converted into a string so it's the here's the difference what happens in uh, mysql is that it returns a string variable or a string a resource id which it, it defines to each and every variable and in case of mysql i it returns an object right this object is actually uh, that thing which we are using in java in java which we uh, we were configuring like uh, connection con and then it returns an object using that con we then uh, try to figure out the other database operations similar fundamental is being now applied in php and let's let's talk about some facts about php also many of us don't actually know that uh, PHP has an interpreted code and every time when we are trying to run the PHP code it gets compiled line by line yeah it's true 
even all the codes all the commands which we are uh, which we have written over here gets converted into a set of small commands called as the op codes that this gets when it is being compi compiled right these op codes are then run many languages like java and c++ we need to compile the uh, code first and then run it it gets converted into executable code and that executable code is then run if we talk about C++ but in this case in case of PHP nothing like that happens you don't have to have the headache of compiling and then after compiling uh, check it PHP offers many much uh, many more advantages such as you don't have to have the headache of closing the database connection though it is a very good habit and it is preferred that you should close the connection like I have not uh, close it over here but you should then um, if you're making objects you need to free the memory of the objects once the role of that particular object is completed that thing uh, is taken from C C uh, in C uh, in C++ uh, if you if you're using an object and we are not trying and we are not freeing that object then it's fine but still uh, the memory gets faced the similar concept is here in PHP PHP manages your all background details your all background operations and lowers your work that's advantage of php and for that around 78 percent of the website and today till date is using php around 2.1 million servers have php installed 222 million websites are running php the market of PHP is therefore very vast. It's simple, it's compatible, and it's very, very light to process. As compared to its market competitors, if I talk about uh, ASP and ASPX, uh, or uh, which we're using, ASP, ASPX ca uh, can successfully run in other servers like Apache or in any other server. The only reason being that it is being it is being preferred to be used in IS is because um, it is much more compatible. The speed gets ex uh, the speed gets uh, more fast. It the processing speed gets most fast. But still, it is compatible with other devices, but not that compatible. It it, it won't provide those uh, that much speed. Every language in today's uh, web is having its different purpose. It's different. Uh, advantages and that's for that's the reason that they are still being used into in, in in the web technology well that's all from my side if you have any problems if you have anything to discuss you can simply log into dikpal singh bhala dot com and make your reviews over here and let me know if you need any help i'm online every time and always there for a help tutor thank you that's all for today